Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be recreating this eye look, which was inspired by Marissa Melhorn. So all credits to her and Daisy Marquez, because they're the ones that inspired me to do this look. I did a twist to it, which was like a burgundy type of look, but I added some Swarovski crystals to it, so I hope you guys liked it. And if you want to like this look, please keep on watching. We will mix this one and that one as a transition shade. For this look, the color has to be spread out evenly because the crown will go in the middle. Windshield wiper and circular motion. Make sure the color goes from here to here. Make sure everything gets covered with eyeshadow. The next shade we will go in with is this one right here, the one next to the burgundy-ish color. Remember, the product goes from here to here. Now we will get a bigger fluffy brush to blend it more. So this can be more seamless. Now we will take a detailer brush. We will go in with this burgundy color right here. Make sure this color doesn't go too up. It stays right here. Take again the first blending brush and blend that. Buff it out with a big fluffy brush. Don't worry if it looks kind of messy because we will draw the crown. So it will come off. It will all come together. Now we will draw the crown. And to draw the crown, I will use the LA Girl Glide Eyeliner in white to draw the outline of the crown. Now that we have the crown drawn, we will fill it in with the liner. So this can serve as a base for whatever color we put down. Now that it's kind of filled in, we will go in with the lid color. I think the lid color we will go in is this one right here. For this part, I will use a detailer brush so that I get in every little corner. For the other little parts, I will use a even smaller brush to get in every little corner. That is how the eye looks. I will be back. I'm going to go do the other eye off camera. Now that I did the other eye off camera, I will apply some crystals to the tips of the crown. And the glue that I will be using is a dual glue. There's one, and there's the last one. After you've applied your Swarovskis, we will apply our lashes. And the lashes I will use are once again the Lily Mykonos lashes. Let it dry for 30 seconds. After we apply our lashes, we will start with the face. Today, I will use a little bit of the Fit Me Madden Poreless from Maybelline in the shade 128 Warm Nude. And for the foundation, I will be using a flat top kabuki brush. This foundation doesn't have a lot of coverage, but I like it because it makes my skin look like soft, you could say. It doesn't have a lot of coverage, but it's still a pretty foundation. Make sure to blend it on your neck. I like to use foundations that don't have a lot of coverage first. So later on, I could just add a little bit of the Marc Jacobs so it can cover everything I don't want to show. 
I'm not gonna lie, it's looking kind of streaky, but I will go over with my beauty blender. Maybe that would help. Now we will go in with a little bit of the Marc Jacobs and apply it on top of this one. And again with the flat top, Kabuki. Now we're going with my beauty blender since it's looking streaky. Press that into your skin. Then after that we will go in with the Tarte Shape Tip Concealer. Then buff it into the skin. Make sure to get your little red areas. Be very careful when you do this part of the sh because it touches the shadow. Be very careful. And to contour, I will use a Hula by Benefit in the contour stick. With this product, you can be generous since it blends out so easily. Do you see how easily this blends out? For the nose contour, for the nose contour, make sure to pat it very carefully and blend it out. I never really contour it usually because I didn't know how to do it, but I'm kind of getting the hang of it now. Now to set my face, I will use a Laura Mercier translucent powder. Grab some more on your sponge. Instead of baking it, just pounce it into your skin. The only area I bake in is my smile lines. After we set our face, we will contour. And I will be using the Alley Girl palette to contour. This is a very good palette and it's very cheap. If you can afford the Anastasia one, definitely get this one. I will take the last two shades and mix them. To powder contour our nose, I will use a little brush like this, which is a medium angle shading from... Sigma. I don't know why it's starting to peel right here and on my nose. Something's happening. Maybe it was a foundation. I don't know, but it's starting to peel on my nose. And I'm not liking it. Now for blush, I will use the middle shade from the Jaclyn Hill palette. This is beautiful. Now we will smoke our lash on and we will use the same brush we used for the maroonish color. And we will take just the, the maroon color for our lash line. Make sure you connect where your shadow ends. Now we will highlight our inner corner and we will use the first two shades to highlight. I applied mascara and some liner off camera and now we will do highlight and of course you already know first with the sleek palette I want to add some of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Gleam Kit Now we 
little bit of our face. And on top of that, the make it last. To line my lips, I will use the MAC Lip Liner and Subculture. I think for the lipstick, I will use the MAC Mineralized Rich and Posh Tone, which looks like this. That's how it looks. Now to top it off with lip gloss, I will use a MAC Mineralized Glass in the shade Modest, 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 Modest. And this was the final look. I hope you guys liked it. Please like and subscribe.